and Adam's love story begins in 2011 when they first met working at Big W. Adam was given the task of training Amy and they instantly hit it off, bonding over the pains of uni life. Amy was drawn to Adam's jokester ways and laid back attitude, two traits he certainly held on to. Adam was hooked by Amy's smile and all round bubbliness. But it wasn't until they found themselves in a truly romantic setting, Davies Pub in Frankston, that they shared their first kiss. Those of you that know Adam know that he is an exceptionally loyal and reliable guy. And he'll always go above and beyond to help those that he cares about. So I also had the pleasure of living with Adam for many years while we were studying. And it was during this time that Amy came into his life. And I had a lot of admiration for Amy for sticking around during those years. Because it can't have been easy dating a guy that lived with four of his idiot mates. Amy introduced me to Adam, I expected him to be a footballer or a sporting person. I didn't expect him to be a board gamer. But I'm glad Amy's made that decision in choosing Adam to be her husband. Well, at least until I went to the Bucks party, now I'm a bit concerned. Um, she's become a teacher and I think she's the first teacher who all her students are taller than her. So that was a good thing. Amy and Adam, you have chosen each other to love and today you've locked it down amongst family and friends. It is now my greatest honour to declare you husband and wife. Adam, you may kiss your beautiful bride.